Hey guys, welcome back to Stoneheart Me Banto! And now we actually got Alpha 17, the unstable one, so bear in mind there's gonna be probably a lot of bugs and glitches. But this also houses so many new improvements that many of you guys are gonna like and that I would like as well. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys, which is really awesome, that is something that many of us have been looking forward to, which makes more realist to the game, to make your town feel the way that you want it to be. So we're gonna go inside one of my houses here, and for example, this house uh, is for a weaver. But look if we click this bed down here. We can actually assign an owner for the bed, which would make this house belong to, for example, in this case, our weaver banto. For the moment, someone else is sleeping in it. It's uh, the gray lady. She took Banto's bed. But uh, like, tomorrow, Banto's gonna be sleeping. Oh, look, she already got up as well. So maybe she realized this is not my bed. So we can, uh, like, assign more beds. For example, I think we should have a bed in here where we have our carpenter. So Yosha is gonna be there. Another one where people died as well in this church was Ardian. And I think it was our cook, so we need to get another cook as well. But also, like said in the comments about Alpha 17, we might be like starting a new town, so we're making sure that we will experience all this new thing that Alpha 17 has. But I think I will go for this at least for this episode and maybe a few more until we like decide that uh, we're gonna make something new. Because this Alpha 17, according to the devs, this is supposed to be where we're gonna be able to build really, really big structures without any problems, or at least very, very few. But the goal is to like get away all those problems, allowing us to like build really really big stuff and that is something that I'm really looking forward to and I think many of you are looking forward to. And many of you guys maybe decided that the Alpha wasn't ready for your buildings are probably gonna be able to have a lot of a nice time very very soon. So since Banto has reached level 6, that's awesome. But since this is an old house, I think we have to like remove some scaffolding. But I noticed a huge difference when I was trying out this a little bit before. Like your people pretty much, they don't put as much scaffolding as they used to do. Which is freaking amazing because they used it to fill it with so much like your scaffolding. There's not much left here to be honest. But you know, they used to do so much with it and they don't do it anymore. And another thing to change it as well, if we go into here and we go to templates, we can see that we have dividers, we get ascendancy and we got custom, which custom is what we are making. Maybe we'll be able to make our own tabs in the future, we'll know, we will see. But for example, we got uh, this basic one, see a little image of the one, which is really awesome. Before you had to go over them to see, but now we can actually see a small one already before clicking, which is really, really awesome. And it's very like clear to see what stuff you're like missing and stuff. Really, really nice. And here's my custom buildings, some don't have an image because they were like saved before this thing exists, but it's really awesome that we can actually like see them so easily nowadays which is really really awesome I really really like this and this is probably my this is the best building I think I made at least it's the biggest and it was so so many things going on that to cancel it was one of my live streams you can see how much stone that is taken 240 that's crazy and this is actually from my previous live stream we made like a big hotel I think it was pretty awesome here's another one that we made during that time. I do think I hear a bell going on. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we got some... Yeah, yeah, we have the enemies here. We should deal with them. I think we should... Oops. We should bring my troops over. But this alpha, it's gonna be amazing. It's it's gonna be improving our gameplay so much and allow us to make so many more buildings that we either couldn't do or was a really pain to do because it was like so troublesome to get it done. Thief approaches. Oh no, he's in the crowd. I think I'm gonna take him down pretty soon. But like I said, we're probably gonna start a new Town Alpha 17. I don't know when we will do it. Hopefully soon. We'll see. Because I'm not sure if we will be like um, getting all the things that we were getting for when we restart the game. Because they added so your town level up in a way. And it uh, kind of adds things. And uh, add like new music and things going on, you get new quests and stuff, so I don't think we can like experience those, so I definitely think we will like make a new town and check it out, we will see what we do with it. So let me know in the comments guys if we should make a new town and uh, have a great time with it. But there's another thing that's really good that we have my old town here. 
So they add a new profession, which is awesome. So if we go into the crafters, we go to our blacksmith. We actually have, we should have a new tool in here, which is this one, engineer's wrench. That's awesome. So we can actually get an engineer. And uh, this is required level 6 to make this. So that's the good why we had this town still. And uh, we need a level 2 blacksmith to promote some of this. So we need an workshop. So it requires a place at engineer's workshop. So how do we get that one? Oh, Gardner's Trowel. I think this is maybe for the settlement mod, but I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Ooh, here we got the decorative scout going. I think we should make some of those. Let's make four of those. But we need to make this. And as you see, we need an engineer's workshop. But how do we make their workshop? Because up here we only have the blacksmith's forge. We have the anvil. It could, could be like some... Other profession that uh, craft this or it just doesn't work in an old save it could be that as well so none here we can try to go maybe for the stonemason none here either yeah there's none so we will see maybe if i make a new world we might have it i'm not sure if we will i, I hope we will i might have been like missing it but it really should be up here because this is where the workbenches are so but I think that's really exciting to get a new class to do things, and the thing that the engineer will be doing, they're like building traps, and they're also building turrets, which uh, pretty much consumes as you're defending. So it's gonna be a really like good defensive thing, maybe put some turrets on walls and stuff like that. So I think that's gonna be pretty awesome. So in the future we're gonna get them, and they're gonna have like way more like things they're gonna be able to do in the future. So we're just gonna see what the future will hold for us with that. So, they have stopped building here. I'm not sure if these, these are not uh, different buildings. Okay, I think they're maybe as busy like gathering some of this because it's pretty far to go up in the mountain. And to be honest, since it's so far, maybe we should actually invest in like making a road here. Oh, new music, guys. Do you hear it? Awesome. So, we got the new music at least. That's awesome. But we're gonna make a new road here. And since it's Pretty much like outside the town, I'm gonna use a dirt road. I'm gonna go here. Stuff like that. Maybe like up. Should we? Let's remove a little bit. Maybe stop like here. That would be good. We're using pretty much wood because it's cheaper than having to use like a lot of stone. We're pretty low on stone, so. But this like big change of how to like doing scaffolding, it's gonna save time, it's gonna save resources. It's just gonna be so much better than feeling like, oh, I have to wait for everything forever. I think it's gonna be really nice. We will have to like clean up some of these old structures and everything might not work perfectly in this old town that we got. So keep that in mind as well. So, but we're gonna make a new town later on, as I said, so we're gonna be interesting. I think if we do it like that, Gonna be able to get away a little bit. Daily update! Oh, we beat it! Oh yeah, we lost one, that's why. Damn you, Banto. So we got Laia to join, let's check out what she got. She got the very balanced and uh, pretty good spirit. So we should name Laia here to some name. I think this is gonna be Lieke. I'm not sure if I can pronounce it. Lieke. Lieke, I would guess it is. So hope you're gonna have a good, good time here. Hope you're gonna have a good, good time. And if you have female names, feel free to drop name requests. Feel free to do for male also, but if you do for male, you can have a very, very long queue. But for female names, there are not so many. Look at the amount of eggs we got, so awesome. Apodio is doing a great job pooping out some eggs. Gonna be nice, eggs are good. Very delicious. Okay, so it seems they're progressing a little bit with this, so that's nice. And what's the comment about... Um, towers here that I just saved another for like, I think it was for like corners. But the thing is that if we want to use for, let's say we want to use this for a corner, it's really really simple to just change it, we can just like remove the window and uh, add a door up here. And maybe keep the door there and maybe add another door that can go inside walls if we decide to. Oh, we just have doors in the top for it. I just remove a little bit of that and we can save another template and reuse it, it's, it's gonna be awesome. I really like that we got new music. The music for this game, I think it has always been 
so nice to be honest. A caravan approaches, uh, would like to give me two stone braces so we get one cathedral arc share. No thank you, we're not gonna do that. So see we have loads of this to clear out. I think we still have like some like stuck in really really odd places. But we're gonna try to get it away. Let's see how they're doing with the road. They're already done with the road, almost like half of the road is done, so that's great. This will improve the movement so much also, so that's gonna be nice. But you know, I'm I'm so excited to see what houses we're gonna be able to make. Because I think it took way too long to build the houses before because we're using way too much scaffolding. And it wasn't super clever, it was just a spam of scaffolding. And it's gonna be interesting, I would see how they're gonna be able to like build this house. This is a house we have waited so long to build and I think it's like pretty much time to build this very very soon. Because uh, we really wanna like try this out and see how good they are. But considering it was built before Alpha 17, we don't know if it's like affected by the new stuff, but I really hope it is. I think it kind of should be, to be honest. But you know, the future will tell for us. It seems like they're really hungry for mining are still up here. No, they're not up there. So what are my people doing for the moment? There's actually a thing that I've been thinking about and I know that some have asked me as well. It's actually a feature if we go to gameplay, we can just choose um, two halflings paths. Like they said as well, it doesn't look very pretty, but sometimes it can be useful to see like where people go on. but I'm not sure what you guys think. Do you think I should have it on or turn it off? I think it kind of like distracts the game a little bit. Not what you guys think, but it definitely can be very, very useful at times. Okay, we get invaded. So for, for now it's very useful because I know that, for example, we got Dragon Ops Dran up here. So that means that we have to get our soldier up here really, really quick. And they have some axe uses here. We got an, well, I think that's pretty dangerous actually, to be honest. A lot of color, kind of means danger. Let's see, we got some soldiers down there. Hopefully everybody's pretty close. Yeah, they were pretty close together. Yeah, we're pretty close with everybody, so we can bring them over. Um, yeah, we do that. I think this person might run into them. Ooh, this could get dangerous for whoever this was. Dragon up the Dran. Ooh, wow, they're dealing loads of damage here. Um... Moon might be in danger. Uh, we have our, one of our healers in the back. Conrad is here. And we got the Grey Lady. I think the Grey Lady might be able to like throw a heal soon, hopefully. Come on. Come on, throw a heal. Uh, let's bring um, Sir Richard up there to tank and spank a little bit. Come on. Don't lose anyone now. So I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's take this party and we're going to... I think we can nuke down the dodge here, we really want to get him away. Maybe we take this out, because they're running around, wow, they're pretty ganked up there, so maybe we should actually go up there. I think we're gonna get a lot more help soon up there. Seems like we pretty much killed all of the other ones down here. Let's see, let's take out the archer, I really want to get him away. Pretty much only fleeing, but I think still gonna be pretty good to be honest. And they didn't really have any healers this time, which I'm a little bit like surprised about because they really seem to have healers very often. And I must say something that I think have changed as well, I think they might have done something with the performance. Because I do think the game feels a little bit smoother than it was before, to be honest. That's nice guys, well done defending us, that was really 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 nice. I hope you guys are exciting as I am for Alpha 17 and the future of Stoneheart, this is just so amazing to see this. All the new things that you kind of didn't expect to arrive, not like all this at once. Like the personal events, that's a huge freaking one that I think so many is gonna like appreciate so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. And we're gonna change this bed actually. So we're gonna have our blacksmith that's gonna be living in this one. So evergreen, this is gonna be your bed. Hope we're gonna have a good time there. The other ones, I guess we can like assign the beds for them, but at the same time, I don't think it matters too much. The interesting thing for the moment is that we can actually like have a barrack where we only have our soldiers living, so they will all be like sleeping in the same place or in the same tower. I'm not sure if they have changed the defend location if they actually like go and eat and sleep when they need to. 
They might have done it, I didn't see it in the patch notes, so... I'm not entirely sure if they have changed it or it's like some vision like for the future with it. So the road is um yeah it's done awesome. Let's see here, they're gonna move way faster there. Since we're going like all the way over here, I think we're also gonna like continue with this road for a bit. And also some pretty awesome requests as well for another building we can do. Like our church, we can make like a crypt. I think that would be pretty awesome to be honest. Then we got a little bit of road, yeah let's build that. This could be nice, we need to make some roads here as well. And to be honest, I think we could pretty much like... Pretty much have like a dirt road here. Because it's pretty much like a little bit outside the town. It's in the farming area, I think it makes sense to actually have some... Like dirt roads, it's wood but it looks like dirt. So we're gonna move uh, the hunter's field, I think like down here would be good, for now at least. So the hunter is gonna be on the graveyard, that's pretty weird. I think it is skeletons and stuff. They're doing pretty good here. We actually have some gold here. That's pretty awesome. There's gonna be a lot of gold, I think. But we will see, guys, like how long we're gonna continue with this. It really, really always like kind of suck when you yeah, like you build something this big and you're like restarting. But it's really, really fun to restart as well. And it would also allow many of you guys to like get your name in the game as well. So I want to see what my people are pretty much doing for the moment. This seems like they're all building. I would guess they're like collecting resources. You can see that there is like no <laughs> movement activity here. And pretty much none here at the moment either. But we're actually going up pretty 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 fast with uh, the net worth. I still feel like we need to get like this uh, stuff away. Let's see if we can actually do that. So here we're pretty much storing some ore and stuff. I do see that we have some ore here, so maybe we should just like remove it. So we're not gonna keep any ore on this. Just to like start to like get away a little bit. Let's go for no, even though like no wood, because we want to move to the proper places. It's not sure that we have enough space for like storing all the wood. But we do have this freaking enormous like treasure here, so we're gonna be able to store a lot in that one. 256 slots, the vault. So awesome. I'm not sure how full these are for the moment. They are not even full yet, so... It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be good to get this away. We might, to be honest, even do this. Let's remove it. And we're gonna see what stuff are like left here. And uh, let's try to get them to like... Be moved to some proper places. Because this looks so ugly to have it like that. So ugly. Kelly's working, that's nice. I really want to put them to more work for the moment, but uh, I think it's a pretty bad timing to go and put them to more work. I think we're gonna at, like, at least finish this, maybe even the lamps, and after that I think we will like probably do this house, I would love to build it. And there was also something I think that in this new alpha that, let's say for example like we're missing double doors for this. If you are missing it, they will go and actually craft them without you saying them to do it. And that is pretty pretty amazing, very very big change for the game. Like putting more of the, the things in your people's heads instead of you directly commanding it. And that seems to be a thing like some people really 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 want like direct uh, control of everything and some people just want things to be more like more simulated, more handled by people. I can say that I'm pretty much like at kind of both sides. I like to have a little bit of like control of stuff. Like in the beginning of Stone Harp when the game was very broken in many ways. That it felt like so much frustration with people who were moving around in such weird ways. But I mean the idea is to make them really really like clever so we don't have to face those problems. So if they succeed with that I think it's gonna be awesome. They want four mean beds we get two comfy back. That's a great deal we're gonna do that. Trade this back in two days, nice. So I think this road is helping a bit with this. And I think we should actually, to be honest, like make a stair that's gonna go up here instead. And we can't make roads in the stairs, so we're gonna have to make this. So it's gonna be moving a little bit slower when they're going up here, but it's still gonna be pretty good. 
I think I'm gonna try... Maybe go for that color of like the stair. I'm gonna try like a different color for it. Let's see, I don't think we're gonna be able to like reach the top with this to be honest. Yeah, I kinda reach it up. If we add, um, I think I'm gonna add like two more. But I'm so excited for the, like this update, the, the Radiant Entertainment, it really like... They surprise me the game devs, like every time it's like, yeah it's gonna be something the next update, but then it has blow blow it away like, oh we added so much, okay nice. So uh, one building thing that I would love to get the game, that I know that so many also want to get, is to have the ability to like drag this upwards as well. So for example while I'm doing this now, I would be able to like, I'd just drag one column up, or for example, drag an entire wall up. It would be saving so much time, so many times. So I think that would be something awesome. I hope this black stair is gonna be nice with this. We could have gone for like a really, like really, really dark wood as well, but I think this is gonna work out pretty good. That's pretty nice. Maybe we should do something in the middle just to make it look nicer. I wonder how it looks if we go for like black in the middle or will it look weird? Let's try that. The very, very, very different stair. I think we like continue pretty much like with the same color for the road for a bit. Like at least up here we can have to make another stair that's gonna go up. And I guess we will make this pretty much the same color, but uh, this time I'm thinking about like adding it so it um, pretty much like goes for the, from the side instead. For something like this, and I'm gonna see how long we'll have to do this. I really love this new music, so awesome, so calm music. I wonder if you should fill that out. Sometimes it's better to do it because there's always risk someone's getting stuck and stuff like that. I think at least here we're gonna like add it. Let's go for that and uh, let's go for like the same color theme. Keeping the theme going. I must say the game, it really feels smoother in some way. It really does feel smoother. So maybe up like up here we add this thing as well. That's gonna be pretty nice. We also need to like connect this road as well. This is gonna be nice because this is gonna like, this can speed up the entire like place so much. And I think that we're gonna like go out pretty much like this and then we pretty much like connect the dirt road with this road. But this is where we start to get to the dirt road. It'll be nice. I wonder if these are like the same buildings, I would guess they're not, but it could be 124, building 125, 124. So pretty big part is uh, the same, and I guess we go for the same color here, like yeah, the same road. I think this will go into, maybe, it, oh it goes perfect, nice. I think we like, let's build this stair, this will be the first one, it's gonna be like the stair and a little bit of this road. It's gonna be awesome. But guys, let me know in the comments and like if you want me to like keep these in like paths and stuff like that. If you think this is like a way too ugly and way in the way, just let me know and we will turn it off. I would go for it for a time because it seems pretty helpful. It just uh, can get a little bit ugly. I think they could like just change the color for it a bit and maybe make it blue or something like that. It would make it like not as like sticking out as this for the moment. But it's nice, we're getting the statues done. Soon the heads are done as well, that's gonna be awesome. Come on guys, I know you can do it. I want you to build this. 
want you to get done with this. It seems like Sarah's level 4 trap is awesome. But guys, I think this will be it for Stoneheart for today. I hope you guys really like the new Alpha 17 features. They're way more than I've been going through. There's so many fixes, updates, features that I haven't like gone through. But uh, I think I'm going through pretty much the major one. It's sad that we cannot make the engineer, if I'm not mistaken of how you make it. Uh, let me know in comments, but I think the... Since it's saying that we require an engineer workshop and we can't make it, I think there's something strange going on. It could be because we have an old world, but not entirely sure. But guys, thanks for checking out this episode, and if you'd like to watch more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. And also, as always, feel free to check out my Twitch channel when I'm streaming pretty randomly for the moment, but I hope in the future that I'm gonna be more like frequent with it. So guys, thanks for watching, hope you had a good, good time, and take care!